Fari balan nejes, no ve de jetejan. Hawi kwaran nejdej, so vari. Alej nad nechaj, bora ne sa seje. O vandi je vatare sedataire, o nan. Ale bala aleje, so vare se takwe. Hani bana no mechaj, bora he. Alarm des manege, jovere se seichi. O vandi feratare edathaide, o vante. Hello and welcome. My name is Andreas Goldman. I'm an intuitive and I work with sound, with my voice and the reflection of my body's movement to change circumstances to help people get into a deeper state of consciousness to help them release negative stored emotion and to yeah enhance the energy levels i'm on this journey since 23 years traveled half of the world and yeah met a few people in between to help them to study with them i met a lot of lot of shamans a lot of medicine people a lot of natural healers all around the world and we shared insights, we shared knowledge, we shared ideas and things we think are relevant for the future. Intuitive work is something that comes right out of the person doing this kind of work. It's a crazy name because we need to think about it, every one of us as a certain kind of intuition. We all are intuitive people, but some people feel more, some people sense more. So I'm one of these people that have a very high sensual feeling in my body the moment I see somebody and I actually see the blueprint. There's somebody standing in front of me telling me what kind of problems they do have in their life, what kind of situations they experience in their life. I'm very fast with my consciousness in their blueprint and without me doing anything there is a movie running beside my normal vision and because of this I'm shifting my body into certain movements and, and, uh, and postures and represent a solution that can help them to get back in alignment because we are all empathic people. We all feel what the other one feels. And if I mm, represent a solution for a problem in front of you and you're open, your consciousness is open, the first thing you will do, you will grab on to this solution. So let's work with solutions today. To explain this, we need to actually make a little movie beside what sound does, how it really shifts actually structures in the body. You're not only physical matter, you're also pure energy, you're pure vibration. Sound is vibration and because of this sound has tremendous deep impact on your structure, on your physical structure and the structure of your consciousness because your consciousness is pure waves, it's pure vibration too. So let us go somewhere today where we can actually raise more awareness and get some more hmm, livelihood, more joy, more openness, more love into our lives. When we look at the thing we experience in life, all the things, the moments we experience in life, there are little traps in life. You know, we all experience that, that we have a good day, it turns out well, we're happy. We have a bad day, situations happen, we have an accident, we have a quarrel, a fight, a battle. We experience the loss of a beloved one, a family member, a pet, we, we lose a job, things happening. But with these moments, there are emotions we experience in our life. And these emotions are the key to free yourself. Because these emotions, if they get stored into your body structures, into your tissues, they stay with you throughout your whole life. 
if you don't release them. What I do in my field of work is that I help you release this kind of emotion to open up the structures because an emotion has a certain kind of vibration and this vibration connects to the tissues, to the bone structure, to the muscle skeletal system, to the organs that are in the same vibrational pattern. It's like they stick together and once they're stuck they don't unglue themselves or unstuck themselves. Sorry for my English, I'm German. Sometimes I'm having a hard word finding, a hard time finding the words. You see, it's, it's not so easy. So once this emotion is stuck on the structure, we need to do something that opens the structure up and unglues it. It's like a vibrational pattern that we need to actually put friction in between and with this it's opening up and then we can release this emotion out of our structure that's what i do with voice so you heard a little song in the beginning of this video but we want to go so much deeper just to know emotions are the key to all the problems you experience the moment you have stuck emotion in your body, they actually let you act and react in a certain way in your life. You're steered by your emotions. If you were afraid of life in the age of five because something traumatic happened and you find yourself in a situation that is similar to the one at, at, the, at, at your age of five and it's very dominant there, you find yourself actually in the same consciousness of a, then of a five-year-old. And that's the problem. We want to make sure that you don't experience emotions like that. We want to make sure that you have the openness so that the nourishment and flow of life can come into your life and into your body structure, into all of your body's structures. So that you can experience a life full of joy, happiness and abundance. So that's what we, where we want to go today that we can start to open up your life for more joy and happiness. Oh. But before we do so, I want you to check in with yourself. I, you, you need to check your status quo. To do this, you can stand up for a moment. Let me explain what you can do and then you can pause the video for a second so you can actually go with that. So if you check how you feel, I love to check the body. I'm a very physical person, so I'm always in contact with my body because it helps me to stay present. The moment I feel myself physically connected to life in my movements, in my breathing, in my um, in my actions, I am totally connected to the here and now. And this connection helps me to raise the energy that I'm experiencing in my body because chi is only flowing if you're present. If you're not present, you might produce a little bit of chi in your DNA yourself and there is enough nourishment to survive the day, but it's only survival. It's not an overflow, an abundance of energy. So the key to more livelihood, the key to more joy is presence. But there are these um, reoccurring thoughts in our head that are coming over and over and they keep us stuck in another time frame. You can say we're, we're stuck at a moment where we, that we remember in a good or a bad way. In a good way is good because there are endorphins helping you and you feel happy. If it's a bad emotion, if it's a bad moment, you're stuck and your stress hormones push you down. So we want to make sure this is not happening. But to check how you do and how you feel at li in life right now, I, I want you to stand up. I want you to stand up and walk a few meters. Feel yourself moving. While you move, how much strength do you need to actually walk? How much strength do you need to keep yourself upright, to stand tall? Do you stand tall or are you hunched? 
How's your breathing? Does your breathing ex extend into your tummy area? Is your diaphragm relaxed? And what emotion do you experience while I'm talking to you about this? Because I know some of you feel sadness if I'm talking about this. How is this with your shoulders? If you move your shoulders, your arms, you stretch out a little bit to the top. How do you feel in your body? How are your senses? Is your vision open? Is it clear? Do you have the feeling of depth, clarity and space in your vision? Is there peripheral vision or is it tunnel vision? How are your eyes anyway? Are they very tired? Or are they easily open and you can observe and conceive? How are your ears? How does your gums feel? Now this is an interesting question. You have the feeling that your gums are stuck together and they press the teeth together or are they relaxed? Because emotion, if it comes to the, their entrance and their way into the body, it starts in the jaw, in the gums and in the muscle of the tongue. How do they feel? How do you feel inside of your head? Is there a dominant side in your head that you feel more? Is there a right side, a left side you feel more? Or can you say, I feel whole in my head? These are important questions because they all show that there is a certain kind of stress or relaxation. And then when you do so, Take your time for this, check this. Check it on a regular basis in your everyday life. Make it a little, a little thing to check in with yourself. Maybe every hour, every half an hour if you get used to it. And it only takes you seconds if you're used to that. It's like a general checkup. Whoa, okay, everything good? Mm, feels good? Okay, go ahead. This is how to do that. And I'm totally connected the whole time. And then, if you do, did so, just come down, relax, sit on the chair, the couch, wherever you sit, and go with me. Because we want to open the space. We want to open this space to work right now. And to do so, I also want to ask you the question, how does the space around you feel? The room you are in. Are you connected in this room? Are you in this room? Or is there a deeper connection to this room where you are in? Do you feel totally entwined in this? Or is it more like something you perceive just as the room you're in? It's an important question. I will answer later why. And then just go with me. Bara na khadj, bara na mukwarat, ede shemadi jil, zenan nik, awarij edeit alalam mukwanat, naman diri jambas tanana, alayin nik wayin ascha, gal feder nak naisha, marat ellen khwan. Emo kwen ye shiren ye Kwanos men jene khal herem bi khayasna Kalbe an jenen ne khoye khubi Ken mej mi han jaye ako Lamba na sneji jinje asna da khao e wakwi Lante ma wangi 
balan març ebariç eyice kuvanama tesnanan ko feren şey take a moment and feel yourself so you see more ecstatic or pushing movements this is like me working into a blueprint working with a blueprint shifting layers working on the spine of the collective consciousness of the group because every vertebrae is connected to a different emotion every emotion that is stuck in the body shifts the vertebrae and the best possible chi flow is not available for the uh, person that is experiencing this kind of limitation and we need to go through this vertebrae and through the spine to actually open up the structure more which we um, did very well in this area so far but we need to go higher and you might feel this in your neck that there is a raise of energy in your tummy area and your your torso but it doesn't go higher this is because here is a so-called octave this uh, change of vibration in your neck area uh, energetically and the moment we open this up it's getting so much easier the problem is that this area is about truth and authenticity and as long as we sometimes think we need to fulfill the idea of somebody else how we should be and this area is not really free as long as you think you are what you think others think you are and you adapt your life to others ideas and you don't live totally authentic who you are from the deepest core the energy cannot flow so easily and it starts very early this kind of problem it starts at school when other kids wear certain clothes and you're good actually you're fine you're just playing you're playful you're happy and suddenly all the others say oh you look so odd and you need to change your clothes you do this or that to become a member of us and to become a member of the group you're actually shifting yourself even if you have been fine before it starts with these little tiny things it's just an example later on it goes into the job because the parents think oh you should become a doctor and a lawyer or whatever or you should take over the family business but you don't want to you actually want to do something very different than your heart is is called on to this action to do what you want to do but you you actually don't because you follow up and you take over the family business you're successful but it's not what you really love how can this area of authenticity of expression of standing tall function perfectly if you're stuck in a life you don't want to live hey we know from studies that more than 90 percent of german people do a job they don't really like and I believe if we look into the world, there are so many countries, so many people, billions of people that experience the same situation. If we would all do what we love, we wouldn't work. We would just do what we love. And we would be able to express ourselves with pure joy and happiness. So let's go in there and think about it. What, who you are and what you want to do. Gadash Ezenech, 
Alaba muhoedet, eleda, keren chime chui chin, kel morn. This does not mean you're having a bad day doing what you're doing. It's a decision to, to, to in the morning to say, okay, this will be a, a bad day because I need to go back to this work, to this college, to this whatever. You can also say, okay, it's a good day. I just, I do my work as best as I can. I bring in the best of me as much as I can give. And because of this, I can look into the mirror in the evening and say, hey, you did good. You did the best you could. Then it's not a bad day. You understand? You need to realize this is a different layer of consciousness. But the layer of consciousness I want to go with you right now is to open yourself up for the talents, for all the potential you have so that your heart is reaching out, creating a gateway into a life and into the universe to actually initiate the love of being you. Berecharen, eberec genate, qual necheren. Feel the emotion connected to this very special situation we are talking about. Who you are and how you allow yourself to be the real you. Le necha, eberec lenec quana sine titi, mo makaren. And it might come up anger, rage, shame, sadness. Or maybe you're there, but you're still on the path to perfection, to perfectionize your own. But listen, perfection is an idea in one's mind. You're good as you are. Oh, feel the vibration if I'm saying you this information. Perfection is an idea in one's mind. You're already perfect. You are the universe. You are the one that experiences life so uniquely through your own eyes, through your own senses, through your own ideas. You interpret your life very specially because you're You've been raised in a very different way than any other being. Your parents were different than other parents. You are different. As a soul incarnating into this body, you brought so much with you. Nobody else ever brought so much with them. Others brought others, other things, other information. They also are unique and perfect in themselves. But you need to realize you too. Nobody's better, nobody's worth. Everything and everybody is equal. But this equality, this level of consciousness, this joy that is there to enter into is only one footstep away the moment you step into your authenticity and the love of your life being you. But a kharaj, erenechal, a and I want you to realize that what you experience right now, this emotion that you experience right now, if it's a negative emotion, it's an emotion of lack. But the abundance is here, here, right now, here. Forbadet and Gwadich Erechal Leman. Almay 
למי שאומן אסתר אחר ודנא ווי חם ווי חמן שי מי שבי גלי מנח על אש מי ברן למקום איבד את ג'אצ'י ג'מאן נמול בר אתך עלי ג'מ אי Thank <laughs> you. 